Hey guys, David here, and today I'm going to show you guys my Pokemon collection, which mostly consists of Japanese cards, along with a few English cards, and at the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys my most valuable cards. So I've already gone ahead and taken out my rare cards out of my trading box set, and here's how this is going to work. We are going to go through each set, starting with the most recent one, and then I'm going to call which card I believe is the most valuable in my collection for that set. And then at the very end of the video, I will show you guys my most valuable cards, and I've already gone ahead and put that aside. So don't jump to the very end of the video, because there might be some cards that I'm showing you guys that might be worth more than I think. And you guys can let me know in the comments down below whether it's uh, more valuable than the card that I called out on. So without further ado, let's begin. So the first set that we're going to start off with is Awakening of Psychic Kings. This was released back in March 2016. And this is when they, they have some of the break cards, which is like the one I'm showing you guys right now in a landscape orientation. Kind of interesting. We got White Kiram, Alakazam EX, Mio, Mega Alakazam EX, Psyguard, Umbreon EX, Tyranitar, Lucario, Lugia, and a Lugia Break. So, in terms of the set, I would say I'm not really a fan of it. Probably because they were trying to promote the, the break cards, which it just seems weird like having a card and landscape orientation just something seems different about that in my opinion But in terms of my most valuable card, I would say it would have to be the Umbreon EX Reason being is because it's evolutions and Pokemon collectors just like that and Pokemon fans in general It's there's a huge fan base for evolutions, I believe and now we're going to go through the second set, which is called Poke Kion Collection. So this one focuses mainly on cute Pokemon. Each pack only contains four cards instead of the usual five, but they all have a glossy finish, which is really nice and interesting. So let's begin. We got Charizard, Flareon EX, I forgot what this name is, sorry. And what's also interesting is that some of these cards actually have a charm at the far left, which apparently has a story or meaning behind them. I don't know what the meaning is. You guys can let me know. We got Gardevoir EX, Evil Tall, and yeah. So I think it's a really nice set. In terms of the most valuable one, I would have to say it would be the Flareon EX. The artwork is really nice, and what makes it nice is because it has the other evolutions such as Jolteon and Vaporeon. And as I mentioned before, evolution is just really popular for the Pokemon fans and collectors. So set number 3 we have is called Legendary Shine Collection which was released back in July 2015 and this was released alongside with the Pokemon movie featuring Hoopa. Hoopa and these cards are really cool because every card is has a holographic effect and what's neat about this set is it only has a total of 27 cards which makes it very easy to collect the entire set which I do but here are the rarest ones within that set, I believe. So, here we go. And I also forgot to mention that some of these cards, you can actually combine them, like put them side by side, and they will create a larger illustration, which is really cool. We got Latias, Latios. We got is Black Kyrum, White Kyrum, Arceus. And Reggie Gigas and Pikachu. So, in terms of the most valuable cards within the set, it would have to be these ones. Individually, it would be Pikachu because everyone loves Pikachu. It's the mascot 
of Pokemon. And I have two of them. So if I want, I can sell one and keep the remainder from life because Pikachu is my favorite Pokemon. Hence the channel name, David Chu. But another one that's really valuable would be these three cards. Because I mentioned before, um, if you put them side by side, they will create a larger illustration. So I'll do a B-roll footage for that for you guys. Alright, set number 4 is probably my largest collection, which is called Banded Ring. I believe the English version is called Ancient Origins. And this was released back in June of 2015. So we'll go through them right now. I believe I got like two booster box of this off eBay when they first came out. So I have a couple of duplicates. There's like three of these guys here. Volcarana, Volcarana, I believe it's the name. <laughs> Sorry if I'm butchering the name. You got Jotian. Jotian is really cool. Ampharos, I think this is like one of my favorite uh, second generation Pokemon. You got Tyranitar, Metagross. Gardevoir, the artwork for this is really cool. Like she's doing like an energy blast. Kind of reminds me of Dragon Ball Z. We got Gudra, a couple Gudras. And we also got a couple of full art Porygon Z. And Lugia. Lugia is pretty cool as well. And a secret rare. I believe this one is called Energy Retrieval. And we got some more. These are in top loaders. So we got Entei Full Art. Mega Ampharos EX Full Art. We got two Gyaradoses. Really nice. Koopa EX. Giratina. Another Giratina. And. Mega Rayquaza EX. This one is also a secret rare. So, I don't think I have to say this, but I will. This is the most valuable card within the set, I believe. Because Rayquaza is cool, and it's a mega one, and a secret rare. So the last set we're going through is just miscellaneous. It's just a bunch of English and Japanese cards mixed together. So let's begin. We got some Team Magma, Team Aqua cards. Uh, I was kind of disappointed in this. I mean, I guess I was trying to get the Kyogre and Groudon, but obviously I didn't get those cards, unfortunately. A few more Japanese cards. The Sumeril, really nice full art. And we got some promo cards from the English set. So we got Rayquaza, Quaza, however you name it. Another Rayquaza, Latios. Secret Rare Energy Switch, Primal Kyogre, Mega Agron, Agron EX, Venusaur EX, and a Pikachu pretending to be a Mega Charizard. This was given out at the Pokemon Center in Tokyo, I believe. And I would say this one is my most valuable card within my miscellaneous set. Alright, now for my most valuable cards that I own. Uh, you guys might know what it is, perhaps, but here's the back of it. Can you guess what it is? It is none other than Pikachu, double Pikachu, and they're pretending to be a Magikarp and Gyarados. I'm really glad that I have these cards and that they're still in really good condition. I mean, I think they're in perfect condition. I might get these ones graded by PSA. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, these are just really adorable. Again, like, I like Pikachu. There's a Pikachu plush right there. And yeah, I wish I got more of the Pikachu full arts. Like, the one that's uh, Mario, Luigi, or the full art Pikachu Charizard. But who knew that these cards were going to be worth so much today? Than they were a few years back. So we'll just do a quick recap on the cards that I believe are the most valuable. So again, you got Umbreon EX, Flareon EX, the Pikachu EX, Mega Laquaza EX, 
Pikachu pretending to be Mega Charizard, Pikachu pretending to be Gyarados, and pretending to be Magikarp. So those are the cards that I believe are the most valuable within my set, but if you do not agree with me, you can definitely let me know in the comments down below, or let me know which ones I should get graded, because I am interested in keeping these cards for the long term. So I know for sure the Pikachu, Gyarados, Magikarp, I will definitely get those PSA graded. But some other cards I'm not too sure, you can definitely let me know in the comments down below. So that's the end of the video. If you do enjoy the video, please give it a like and do consider subscribing to my channel because I do want to make more Pokemon related videos on this channel. I may do an unboxing for Champion's Path. I do have two boxes. I might just open one and set one aside for long term. Hopefully the value will go up. And I know that Shining Fates is coming out next month, so I might do an unboxing for that. But you can let me know what you guys want to see in the comments down below, and I will take those into consideration. So that's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!